Hi, I'm Anna and I'm going to teach you how to create a workflow in Mapify. This is the workflows tab in the Mapify console. To start, we just created a new blank workflow named Vehicle Location Processing. The first step is to select and edit the source. For this example, let's choose the Vehicle Positions feed. The workflow's job will be to process the messages that come from this data feed. By clicking the plus symbol here or here, we can add new nodes to our workflow. There are four types of nodes. Starting with condition, it will allow the message to choose one out of two ways possible, according to a condition. Filter, which will allow us to filter messages that are in accordance with a certain condition. Seek nodes are output nodes. They generally send data to an external platform, such as our product City as a Platform or sending an email. Lastly, Transformer, which transforms the original message coming in and adds something. In this case, we will create a condition related to a spatial intersection in a prohibited area, kind of like geofencing. We give it a name is inside restricted zone and intersect that with the layer of the restricted zones. We also need to tell the node the geometry type of the message, which is a point. Then we need to tell it where are the coordinates of our message. The Mapify Gems Path Assistant will help us write the expression. This is the structure of the message and we can copy and paste an actual example. Here we write the expression message.location and then our coordinates. On the right there is a preview of the result of the expression. Finally press apply. Our first node is complete. If the message agrees with the condition, it will progress through the top path. If it doesn't, it will progress through the bottom path. It's also possible to create an isolated node and connect it later on, since Mapify's workflows are drag and drop. Let's do a speed limit filter. speed higher than 50 km per hour. This reads, if the vehicle is not inside a restricted zone, we will filter the illegal speed limit for higher than 50 km per hour. If the vehicle is going above the speed limit, we can ask the workflow to send an email using a sync node and customize all email details. We can even customize the email with specific attributes. Now for the top path, we will use a transformer node because we want to add to the message the result of the intersection with a layer. Skipping a bit forward, we will then add a copy of our speeding alert email and link it with the intersection node. Update all the details considering what we need. And then our workflow is complete. 